Well, hello there, my fellow codfish good times. With Scar here, bringing you some super awesome Black Ops gameplay. And in today's gameplay, we're rolling with the AK 47. We've got our classic set of kill streaks ready to go for a nice 36 and 1 team deathmatch on radiation. But that's not why you're here. You're here to find out how Scar will single handedly put the fun back into the Call of Duty series. So instead of me sitting here complaining about something that I don't like and not offering any solutions, I'm going to be offering some awesome solutions and getting your guys' input to making sensible fixes to the game to make it all that it can be and to have awesome times when Black Ops 2 comes out. So my first personal gripe with this game is panic knifing. Panic knifing is so frustrating to me personally. So that's what we're going to address first. And my first solution to fix this is something called a stab proof vest. It's like a bulletproof vest, but only protects against knives. It's like a bulletproof vest generally does not protect you against knives. So a correctional officer might be wearing this in the yard, trying to break up a fight to avoid getting stabbed. They'll wear this vest. Same with firefighters or paramedics who don't need the protection of a bulletproof vest, but can benefit from this. So let's go back into the Call of Duty world and see how this would apply. I'm hoping that they add the Modern Warfare 3 system of equipment in a lethal section. So that's the basis we're going to go off here for these ideas. Now in the equipment section, you will find a stab proof vest, but we need a new name. So in the comment section, start coming up with a name for the vest. We need something cool, catchy. So you're wearing this in the game. You get knifed. You don't die, but you take 50 damage. So it helps balance it out and keeps it from being like a juggernaut suit. It already doesn't protect from bullets or explosive damage, but it will protect you from that first knife, but it does give you a little damage. So it's not going to be overpowered. So that's my first idea. Let's go over it real quick. You equip this so you wouldn't be able to equip like a motion sensor or a jammer. So you would have the vest on, you get knifed, you take a little bit of damage, you get knifed again, you die or you get shot. So it gives you a little balance to the game. It gives you a chance. So let's go on to our next solution in case the first one fails. The next one is in that lethal section that we talked about, the equipment and the lethal. In the lethal, there would be a knife. So you couldn't equip a claymore or a grenade and you can knife like normal in any other Call of Duty, same as usual, but you have to equip the knife. If you chose not to and you pick a claymore or a grenade, you would then, in a melee situation, have to butt the enemy with the back of your gun twice to kill them. Kind of like in the old days, it always seemed that in the old days in a melee situation, you would have to butt the enemy. But in Call of Duty, somehow we have a magic pants knife that pops out instantly. So hopefully some of these suggestions and ideas will make it maybe to the developers of Treyarch, and maybe they'll implement it to the game. We can always hope. But let's do a recap on what we've come up with. Our first solution was the stab proof vest. You equip it in our equipment menu. No claymores or jammers because we equip the vest. The vest takes one hit, takes 50 damage. Doesn't protect us against bullets or explosive damage. So it balances it out. Our next idea was the equipping the knife in the lethal section. Now the lethal section, we couldn't equip a grenade or a claymore, we would just have the knife and we can knife normally like any other Call of Duty. But if we opted for a grenade or something along those lines, we would then have to butt the enemy with the back of our gun twice to kill them. So guys, that is my solution to the frustrations of panic knifing. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys could like or add it as a favorite, that would mean a ton and help other people find this to help them contribute their ideas also to the Black Ops 2 discussion on how to make this game awesome. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.